Hello there, this is Tiago with another OpenOffice calculator tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the days that have passed since the start of your records to today's date. This video is going to be very useful if you need to calculate averages related to the start of your records to today's date. Now to begin with, what you need to do is format the cells you will be working with. So over here, format this cell and make it a date cell. Do the same for this cell over here. Make sure it's a date cell. And for this cell over here, ensure you are using a number cell, okay? So for the start of your records, you're going to have a date cell. For today's date, you will have a date cell. And for the days in total, you are going to have a number cell. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be finding out how many days have passed since the 1st of February 2021 to today's date. That will include today's date. So in this cell, I'm going to put the 1st of Feb 2021. In this cell over here, I'm going to write equals today in capital letters brackets. Okay. And that will give me the 18th of March 2021, which is today, the day that I'm making this video. Now, according to my calendar, there were 28 days in February 2021. And now in March, 18 days have passed. 28 plus 18 is 46. So if I'm using the correct formula, I'm going to get 46 days which have passed in total. Now to calculate how many days have passed, you need to use this formula. Plug this formula over here into this cell. Okay, that is days, end date, start date, just like this. Now the end date is going to be the cell E7. Okay, so over here, I'm going to type in E7. The start date is going to be E5. So over here, I must put in E5. Okay, so let me do that. Now, if I hit enter, I'm going to get 45. But we know that 46 days have passed. So what I'm going to do is change this formula. I'm going to put sum over here. And then I'm going to put the days formula in brackets. All right. And beside this over here, days E7, E5, I'm going to place plus one. Now, if I do that and hit enter, I get 46 days. And that is how many days have passed since the start of the records and today's date. Now, if you want the days in between, then you use the first days formula. You just use the days formula. But if you want to calculate today's date as well, you use the formula that I completed, which includes sum. I hope this video has been very useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next clip.